micro link system contains seven instruments, the first being the trapezial pin. This allows joysticking to the trapezium for complete excision. The suture passing drill bit, which has a coined end as well as a night and all loop. Next, the radio opaque micro link all suture button with two number two suture arms that are spliced at one end to allow for passage. The micro link backstop, which comes preloaded on the loader. The McGlamoury elevator, which allows for soft tissue elevation off the trapezium to allow for easier excision of the trapezium uh, in block, and a CMC drill guide with or without paddle. The one shown here has the paddle that's placed at the base of the thumb metacarpal to allow for easier alignment for guide pin placement. Moving on to the surgical procedure, the skin incision is made in a curvilinear incision along the glabrous skin edge where the hair stops along the palmar aspect of the hand. Sharp dissection is made down to the thanar musculature. Uh, the thanar musculature is peeled off the capsule, exposing the capsule. The capsule is in size longitudinally exposing the CMC joint. A sharp dissection is made around the trapezium. And the trapezial pin is inserted into the trapezium to allow it to be used as a joystick to circumferentially dissect sharply along the trapezium for excision of the trapezium as one piece. The McGlamoury elevator again is used to elevate the soft tissues off the trapezium. Once the trapezium is completely removed, the flexor carpi radialis is checked to be intact and not transected. In this view, you can see the trapezoid, the base of the index metacarpal, as well as a scaphoid with complete excision of the trapezium. Next, a small incision is made at the flare at the base of the index metacarpal. The CMC drill guide is inserted. The paddle is placed just volarly and proximal to the thumb uh, metacarpal. The drill bit is then inserted and drilled from the thumb metacarpal out the dorsal aspect of the hand through the index metacarpal. Care is taken to place the initial drill hole on the corner of the thumb metacarpal. More distally on the shaft of the metacarpal may prevent thumb abduction. The spliced end of the suture bridge is then placed through the night gnaw loop. Approximately one to two centimeters of length is placed through the night gnaw loop. The drill bit is then pulled out dorsally through the dorsal aspect of the hand, ultimately resulting in the suture bridge being pulled tight against the thumb metacarpal. Next, the spliced end is cut, allowing for the two number two suture arms to be passed through the loader where the backstop is then placed down the two arms of the suture bridge. Pulling the suture apart allows passage of the backstop underneath the skin. A minimum of five throws, a provisional plus four additional throws is required to ensure fixation of the microlink system. However, additional throws up to 10 throws can be helpful in burying the knot at the trapeziectomy site. Obtain fluoroscopy to ensure one to two millimeters of separation between the index and thumb metacarpal exists prior to stabilizing and throwing the sutures. Prior to closing it, axial loading can be performed as seen here. The axial loading shows the stability of the all suture button, which prevents proximal migration of the thumb metacarpal. There is no abutment of the thumb metacarpal on the scaphoid, even at this stage intraoperatively. Lastly, the capsule is closed using two avicral, skin is closed using four nylon simple sutures. The wound is dressed with zero form, zero four by four, zero cast by, and a thumb spike is splint for approximately two weeks, after which active mobilization is performed under the care of occupational therapy.